everybody, how are you doing? I'm very glad to see you again if you're already subscribed. If not, there's a magic button over here. Now, uh, in this video, we're going to review how to modify the original MJX-B3 remote controller so that it has better coverage and we extend the range a little bit. The final product should look like that. All you're going to need is a connector, a 5dB antenna, soldering station and I guess some patience. So enjoy this video and hope to see you in the next one. <clears throat> All right, let's check out the preparation steps and what you actually need. Well, you're going to need your drone just for a test. I'm taking the opportunity to show you the damage that my props have received after a few drops due to losing signal and a few drops caused by wrong moves from my side, of course. Could be worse. So, here's what we need in addition to that. A Philips screwdriver, a larger antenna. I bought an 8 dB TP-Link antenna that costs about 10 US dollars. I wanted to get a 5 dB, however it was out of stock. I also needed a convenient RPSMA connector that is going to be used for attaching the antenna once the setup is complete. It took me a while to find such a cable. If you're purchasing that over eBay, you're gonna have easy time finding it. You will also need a soldering station and a sharp small knife or something that can dig a hole into plastic. Let's get started. Remove the batteries and start working with your screwdriver. You need to fight these eight screws. Beware that the two on the top side are slightly smaller and make sure to put them in a the convenient place so that you have to so that you have easy time putting the remote together again. Once you're ready with the screws, gently remove the bottom of the RC. Be careful with the wires connected to the batteries, do not damage them. Your next challenge are the 8 screws awaiting you on top of the board. Not quite a challenge if you're well equipped. Slowly pull, slowly pull the board upwards. There should be nothing preventing you from doing it except the antenna. As you can see, the so-called antenna place on the outside of the RC, it's just an empty plastic. It's perfect for placing my new antenna there. The original antenna is attached to the inside of the RC with hot glue. Just pull it up and you're good to go. I have to admit that the transmitter looks decent and MJX Engineering has done quite a good job with distribution of the functions on that board. Exploring the board from all sides, the next step is to uncover the soldering point of the original antenna. It is covered in something like rubber, white rubber. Guess it has some sort of protection purpose. Next comes the cable with the RPSMA mail connector. I'm just preparing it for soldering. Wi-Fi antennas are usually dipole. This is why it is important to have the grounding connected too. And this will guarantee it can properly spread the signals. It might work otherwise, however the effect might be just minor. Note that the transmitter, which is the rectangle where the so-called antenna is soldered, it is designed to work with antenna of a specific power, meaning that attaching a 5 dB antenna doesn't mean you have increased the power with the same value. It's likely going to be just a fraction of that. In the meanwhile, using my Swiss Army knife, I'm digging a hole for the connector in the dummy antenna plastic of the remote controller and it's almost perfect, looks like factory integrated. And last but not least, soldering. I have intentionally soldered the second antenna on top of the original just in case. Usually I won't attach the 5dB extension and if I remove the original antenna, the transmitter will have no way to offload its energy which can lead to overheating. So, I better play it safely. I don't want to get the transmitter failing when my drone is hundreds of meters up in the sky, so that's why I keep the original antenna. At the end, we make a test, and it is successful. 
What I have to do next is to discover how good the range now is. Check out my newer videos to find out my drone and how far it can fly this time. I'm looking forward to find out too. And I'm inviting you to do it together. Just subscribe to my channel and you'll get all the new videos I publish. Thanks for watching this one. See you around.